Your 48 firewall can work in two modes, profile based and policy based. Up until now, we have worked mostly in a profile based mode. That is, we had our policy, we had our security profile, and that was about it. In a policy based mode, we integrate application control and URL filter at the same page with the policy itself. But there are more things that change. Let's look at that. All right, so here we have it. We have a profile based mode. Let's just edit our policy. Uh, we can see that we have the different matches, incoming interface, outgoing interface, source, destination. We can choose to NAT or to NOT using NAT. And we have security profiles that we can enable or disable. So let's uh, turn to policy-based mode and let's see the difference. Now you can do that also on the command line, but we will do it using our GUI. So let's move to system settings. And from here, just scroll to about the middle of the page where you see next generation firewall mode, policy based. All right, now let's apply and we get our warning that by changing that, we will need to use central net. That's okay. All right, so let's move back to our policy page. And here we see the change. Instead of IPv4 policy, we have security policy and we can create our new security policy where we have different options that weren't there before. Before we do that, let's move again to the policy and objects. And we also have a central net. A central net is a huge table where it can be filled with different net options that will be chosen according to the incoming interface and the outgoing interface. All right, so let's create our policy again. Let's create our policy. Let's name that full access. And our policy will actually allow our LAN interface to go through the WAN interface. Source will be all, destination will be all, scheduling always. And now here's the part that is that is interesting. You can actually choose application directly from the policy page. So we can choose Netflix. We can choose just about any application that we want to uh, allow or deny. We can also do that with URL categories, the same as in web filters, such as pornography or uh, gambling or uh, any other category that you want to allow or deny. And you can also choose if you want the protocols and port numbers to be the same as the application's default setting, or are you allowing any other protocols to be used? One more thing about application control, you can not only choose application, you can also choose categories, different categories, and you can also even group applications, different applications, that you decide that you wish them to be in a specific group, such as cloud applications, voice over IP applications, video applications, and so on. All right, so that was the first part. As you can see, you can still choose security profiles, which are not in the policy itself. You can choose antivirus, you can choose web filter, IPS, and file filter, but the application control and URL filter is here. You can do whatever you want to do with it in the policy page. All right, so that was the first part. Not is not here. So let's move to our central net. 
So that was the first part. Let's move to central net, create new. The incoming interface is our LAN, the outgoing is our WAN, source address is all, destination address is all, and we will use the generic uh, NAT option, which is use outgoing interface address. So the source address will actually change its IP address towards the destination with our 40 gate uh, outgoing interface address. Now you can see that we can use a more granular options here in terms of protocol or using dynamic IP pool, which is was which was also in profile based mode. Uh, we will not choose explicit port mapping, and that's about it for the central net. So now we have a new row in our central net dedicated to our first policy. The third thing that is changed is the SSL inspection. Uh, usually at the policy base when we choose profile based we could choose certificate inspection or deep SSL inspection and we will also do that here. So here you can see that we have certificate inspection. Let's just edit the option. Currently any interface that is going to any uh, outgoing interface will choose certificate inspection but you can also create your own SSL inspection matching and let's just name that full access the in let's name it full access one since we already have um, a similar name incoming interface again is our LAN towards our WAN source all, destination all, service all, that is the services, the protocols that we are using. And here we can choose if we want only certificate inspection or maybe deep inspection. So let's keep that with no inspection at all. All right, so this were the uh, main changes to working in a policy-based mode. Uh, we uh, use application control and URL filter within the security policy. We have created in our central ASNet table, we have created specific row that will deal with the uh, policy that we have configured. And we have also used the SSL inspection in a specific table that works just about the same but it doesn't appear in our policy page all right uh let's move to our ubuntu device and let's see if everything works well within our policy based mode all right let's just move to our browser and let's navigate to um let's navigate to foynet.com and yep everything works well the same as it was within our profile based policy